you are looking at Louis Vuitton pieces and you're trying to decide which bag or item is best for you, these are the five pieces that I highly recommend. My name is Jenny and we love handbags on this channel and today I am going to go through some pieces that I own when it comes to Louis Vuitton and why I think they're the best. But before we get started, I always want to start by saying thank you so much for stopping by. And like I said, we love doing comparisons, chit chat, unboxings, hauls, and anything and everything related to fashion, bags, and luxury. And if you guys are not following me on Instagram, please stop by, say hello, and let's just hop into the video. So, like I said, these five items are pieces that I always use and love that I have in my collection. So I'm going to start off with item number one. Number one is my toiletry 26. Now, I am so glad I picked this up. Now, I was late in the game and I actually picked this up right before it got discontinued. I was like on the hunt. Um, luckily, my essay was wonderful. I was able to track one down for me. So I got it at retail price for around like six something. Um, I know it used to be a lot less, but I think I got it at the tail end of it. But I don't know about now, but I know like prior it was reselling um, on the pre-love market for very high. Like they were in the thousands. I think it's different now because I think the hype has kind of down died down. But for me, this is like a classic piece because it's versatile. First of all, price point is amazing. And if you don't want the new piece, get a vintage piece too. You guys know how I feel about vintage pieces. And I think that vintage pieces are just as nice as new pieces of not better. So don't pay the high price point. But if you can get one for around the 600 and below mark, I definitely think it's worth an investment. Um, I use this for mainly a handbag. I have my dust bag in here, but I also have a Zumoni insert that I love and it has D rings on the side. I'll insert a photo, but I wear this as crossbody. I literally just added like a like a regular black statement strap um, that I picked up from Amazon and turned it into crossbody. I've also used it with like a chunkier chain where it's just like a handheld um, and it gave it like a more elevated look. Um, I also use this sometimes as a clutch or just like a carry all that's sitting inside my work bag. Um, you can see the inside is very spacious. And again, sorry, this is just the dust bag inside. Um, or I use this as like a shoulder bag. I have like some other Louis Vuitton pieces. I take out the strap, put it on here. However, right now I'm considering getting like the Louis Vuitton bandolier strap just because I love how you can adjust that. And I feel like you guys know I love a good statement strap. I feel like I could use that on all my Louis Vuitton pieces, this being one. So if you guys have that strap, let me know what you think about it. But yes, highly recommend. Okay. Second item is my Louis Vuitton desk agenda. Now I debated on this for a while because I thought it was a little ridiculous to pay 600 something dollars for something that is can be like 1099. Um, however, I'm not kidding. I use this every single day and this helps me so much keep my life in order. I split this into two sections. One is where my, my to-do list, my goals, my daily agendas, and then the other side, I keep track of YouTube content and anything YouTube related. Um, so that really helps me kind of organize my life personally. And I just been loving it. And I know like, I tried like using like other you know, like notebooks and organizers, but it just doesn't bring me the same joy. So I love this piece and I feel like I, I don't know, like I know I have the Louis Vuitton organizer as well, but I kind of grew out of it. It's just not as big um, of space that I needed. I felt like the GM size was perfect. So if you guys are thinking about this, it really is a great piece because it's a daily piece, right? I always think about like the daily functions when it comes to things like this. Item number three is my bum bag. You guys have seen me rave about this piece. Again, late to the game. I picked this up right before it got discontinued. I went through a journey getting this bag, but it is in my hands now. It is a forever piece for me, and I absolutely love it. I'm not using it right now because I see this more as like a summer, spring piece, but I plan on getting into this as soon as the weather gets a little better. Right now, it's been a little rainy, so you guys know I don't mix rain and vachetta, even though I did spray this. Um, I did order a insert for this, so I will show 
that in a different video on how I pack my bag and why an insert actually makes a huge difference. But like I said, this piece is just so good. If you're a casual person like me, this is definitely like a piece to get because I am casual, but I like to elevate my outfits using accessories. I honestly can shop anywhere. I don't necessarily have a brand I truly love when it comes to clothing and apparel. However, I'm very particular, you guys know, with my accessories. And I feel like even if you wear something that is really plain, but you dress up with something like this, it just takes it to that next level. Um, and that is why I have such a love when it comes to handbags and jewelry and things like that. It just really makes an outfit. Um, this, obviously, with the Louis Vuitton is a little intense, but monogram against anything just makes it look better in my opinion so i love this piece it's easy to use um if you guys want like a more of an update now that i've had it for a while drop a comment below next item is also not a handbag it is this piece now this is i picked up um end of last year and it is my Louis Vuitton clay now, or sorry, Louis Vuitton key clay. Now, obviously you don't need to get it with the Vivian on it. I got the Christmas animations because you guys know I love this animation. I don't collect them or anything like that. But when I see one I love, I will pick up. And this is one that I love. This is Paris. I did a whole unboxing you guys want to see. I'll drop it below. But I just think a good key clay is really universal because what I plan on doing and to be honest like I right now I'm using like a card wallet but I use this as a wallet so I just when I carry this I actually don't carry another wallet I put I only have like you know a certain amount of cards I rotate through that are important to me right like obviously like ID you know the credit card that you use and then maybe like some gift cards or Starbucks cards things like that and I put that in here and then I also put my key in here and after that, like that's all I need. So I'm a mini bag lover. So something like this is just so thin, but yet fits so much is perfect for me because it fits into all my smaller bags. Um, I have many Louis Vuitton SLGs I love. So I don't, it was so hard to pick five for me because you, I'm just gonna combine it. But you guys know I love my Recto Verso too. That is one of my favorite SLG pieces over here um, because also it fits a ton and it's nice and flat and thin and that's what I love and that's what I look for when I'm looking for SLGs. I will never purchase like a bulky one when I'm using it as a wallet unless I'm turning it into like a walk or something. So yes, highly recommend this piece and I, I know this has gone up in price but I still think it's worth the price because you're essentially getting a wallet and key holder all in one. So this one I think I picked up for, I want to say like three something, but that's because it had the animation. I think if you, I, I believe that it used to be 250, I could be wrong, could be more now, but even at like, I would say like $400, I still think it's really worth it because of the use you'll get out of it. Fifth item is none other than my Palm Springs Mini. Now, again, I know it's a backpack. I'm not a backpack person, but I use this one as a crossbody. Just like this, I attach a chain and I figure if I get a bandolier strap, I could actually put it back here too. Um, the only thing with this is I'm not a huge fan of the thin straps. I brought this um, on my last trip when I went to Hawaii and I liked it, but I won't lie, like the thin straps kind of bothered me after a while, especially like wearing like sleeveless tank tops and things like that. It does like dig into the skin a little bit, but you guys know I have this thing with thinner straps. I just love a good like thick, comfy strap. And I feel like a bandolier strap on this and also some of my other bags would just make it perfect. So I'm still debating because straps is still an investment, right? Like sometimes the straps cost as much as a bag, but I'm a big fan of straps because I feel like you can use them, and interchange them and change like the whole aesthetics of a bag. You know what I mean? So although it's an investment, if you're going to use it, I definitely do think it is worth it. So what do you guys think if I added that strap today? It's going to be so cute. But yeah, this bag is great because it's compact, but it fits a lot. And that's the name of the game for me. Like I love things like that. And I think if you're looking for something that is cute and squishy, but actually functions and fits like all your essentials and more than Palm Springs Mini is honestly the way to go. Um, but I would say like between this and the bum bag, I can do a separate review of you guys like, but 
bum bag definitely the bum bag because i just love it like sitting like right here it's just easy to get in and out of and i honestly kind of like the look of the bum bag a little bit more at least for my like style but the palm springs i had to give it a mention because i do think it is like a really cute bag and every time i wear that i definitely get a lot of compliments um versus like any other louis vuitton pieces so that that is item number five i do want to side note one thing though i do not have this piece in my collection but i'm really thinking about getting the louis vuitton vanity i don't even know the exact name of it it is this one right here in the reverse i've always wanted a reverse monogram piece but i thought about getting the pochette matisse but then you know what like after sitting on it it's just not a bag for me i think it's a little too big for what i carry and i feel like everyone has it so i know it's a great bag but just i don't know if it'll work for my everyday so the vanity is just so cute like i feel like i can fit my sunnies in there my wallet all my essentials and then i can interchange the um the strap although that strap is beautiful and I just love the design of it. I've been really into like obsessed actually with like vanity pieces. There is a couple on my wish list. That one I added. And then also like I'm looking at some like Chanel pieces as well. I just think they're so cute. And like I've mentioned before, I end up using smaller mini bags way more than I do my bigger items. So I don't know, like I just feel like I need to add that. But if you have that, I've seen many mixed reviews on YouTube. Can you let me know what you think about it? Do you think it's worth that new price, which I think is like $2,800? Do you think it's cute? Do you think it's functional? Um, I always love hearing what you guys think. And that is the roundup. That is my favorite Louis Vuitton pieces. And if you guys are considering any of these, I would highly recommend. Um, but again, like if you guys have any questions, you can always comment below, DM me. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.